What's up guys, I'm Coach Jeremy. This is the third video in the CCM Welcome to Hockey series. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to improve your skating without actually having to be on the ice. You can practice these in your office, in the morning when you wake up, but I'm gonna do them in the garage just because I have a little bit more room to film. So let's get to the first exercise. The first thing we can do to feel more comfortable once we step on the ice is really simple. We're just gonna work on the stance. We're gonna go wide and then we're gonna go low. This wide and low stance gives us balance and it gives us power. That knee bend is really important for pretty much everything you do in hockey. That'll be the number one piece of advice that you get. Knee bend, knee bend, knee bend. So wide and low. And from here, we're just gonna do some weight shifts. So shift your weight here. So your shoulder, your knee, and your foot all line up. And then shift your weight over here, shoulder, knee, ankle, all lined up. And you just work on that movement because that's pretty much what you're gonna be doing on the ice. When you're striding, this is what happens. When you wanna do a crossover, this is what happens. You need to shift your weight, you need to step over and then cross, but we'll get to that a little later in the video. The next exercise that we're gonna do is a little bit of footwork. It's gonna be getting up on your toes and your heels and then shifting your weight and rotating. Now I said that we could do this anywhere, so why don't we try it in Malaysia? What's up guys, my name is Coach Jeremy. I'm here in Kuala Lumpur at the Twin Towers. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to skate without skates. If I'm going backwards and I wanna quickly turn forwards, I'm gonna shift my weight more to the heel so that I can lift up the toe and pivot and then have my skates going the other direction. We can practice this in shoes as well. Let's do it right here. We're gonna work on having the weight shifted to the heels, lifting up the toes and then turning this way. And then next, you shift your weight to the toes, lift up the heels, go this way. And you just keep on doing that getting that feeling of shifting and rotating. I keep on shifting where the weight is located on the feet so you can quickly move. Remember your focus during this exercise is all about balance. So try to feel as balanced as possible throughout the whole exercise. Keep on doing it until you feel really balanced, then try it on your skates on the ice. The next exercise that you can do off the ice that will help you when you're on the ice is pretty simple, as long as you're flexible, is heel to heel. Doing this move will help you in three ways on the ice. It'll help with the mohawk. It'll help with your forwards to backwards transitions. It'll help with your backwards to forwards transitions. Practicing this is simple. It's gonna work on your balance and your flexibility. To start, just work on pushing those heels out, keeping those toes planted, and then get lower and lower and lower. You'll find if you get a little bit lower, it's gonna be easier to get that heel to heel position. You can hold it and that'll work on your balance, or you can work on just going up and then down up and down and that would be a lot like when you're on the ice you're going to go into that position and then step out go into that position and step out and then we're going to work on that transition from backwards to forwards and forwards to backwards let's do it the next exercise that we're going to do is a little bit of footwork and it's the forwards to backwards transitions take one step forward that toe is pointing in the direction we want to go then we're going to rotate this one so the heel is pointing in the direction we want to go and then rotate again that heel is pointing in the direction that we want to go that is basically the forwards to backwards transition on the ice. We'll do it again, just like that. So we're just working on the footwork, right? Just to get you familiar with the steps that you have to take. If you have it sort of registered in your mind, what you need to go through, where your weight is positioned, how you're gonna kind of pivot on the toes, right? Lifting the weight, shifting the weight. Once you get on the ice, it'll just be a little bit easier to pick it up with the skates on. Of course, it's gonna be a little bit different. You might fall over, but if you practice it off the ice, you have that in your head. When you get on the ice, you're going to get it just a little bit quicker, and then you're making the most of your time on the ice. Now we're gonna work on the backwards to forwards transition. So the direction of movement would be that way. What we're gonna do is open up this foot. We're gonna shift the weight onto this leg right here. So it goes like this. We plant this foot and then shift that weight, bring it around, and now we're going that direction. Now we're gonna switch. Envision that we're going backwards open up this foot, plant it, and switch. And you can just keep on stepping, working on shifting that weight, working on that hip rotation, opening up the shoulders with it. It's the same thing when you're on the ice. This is a big one, a lot of new players struggle with this. It is the crossover, because when you get on the ice, you feel comfort right here. Your weight is right in the center. 
A lot of players start on both their inside edges, knees knocked in a little bit like this. So it's a struggle for them to even get here where your weight is on both edges. Now, what has to happen for the crossover is the weight has to shift onto the outside edge and this foot comes right over like that. So I find that just working on the crossovers, being in that right position, shifting the weight, bringing the weight over this foot and then stepping, that can help you just get a little bit extra confidence so you can do it while you're on the ice. Obviously in shoes, you have more of a platform, you're not as likely to fall, but we can do this off the ice, then put on our skates, same thing stationary on the ice, just get comfortable shifting that weight over that foot that's planted and then step. Once you have it off the ice, you do it on the ice. Once you have it stationary on the ice, then you work on doing it while you're skating down the ice. And then you can do it while you're in a turn. And the crossover, very important for hockey. You got to learn it. So start practicing off the ice, then learn it on the ice. There you go. There's a few drills you can do off the ice that should help you become more comfortable with the movements that you're going to need once you get on the ice. So let me know if those helped in the comments below. And stay tuned for more videos from the CCM Welcome to Hockey series. Thanks for watching this one. We'll see you in the next video. You're, spo you're supposed to drop them before you go. So you gotta go like this. And if you wanna fight, like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.